Bless everybody. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. You already know my name is Charles Farrell. This is why I speak about my life as a suspicion. Please feel free to leave a like, comment, and share my videos. And if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so you can get all of my videos as soon as I post them. So, for my last video I did, speaking about renal diet, my diet, I got three customer subscribers that asked for two, two videos, separate videos. One speaking about food I should avoid alone, and the other speaking about food I can eat. So, today, this video I did, which has been mainly about uh, food that I should avoid. I'm going to give like the last video. I'm going to give like a few whole foods. So in this video, I'm going to give like a longer list. So I have a list here of a couple of things because I have this right here. So, I'm going to try to go through everything on it. Now, some of the foods that I will be mentioning are not like foods like Dominica people know about. I let in some of the other countries, people might know about it. So, I'm still going to go ahead and mention all of them. Now, what I said before, I'm not a dietitian, neither a doctor. So these are just the information picked up from research I do. I did on my own. So if you want to get more information about a renal diet, feel free to Google it yourself and do your own research. Maybe you might understand it better if you do your own research. So I am going to start with the foods that I am supposed to avoid. Now in my previous video I mentioned with a renal diet you should try to avoid foods containing high levels of phosphorus, potassium and sodium. So I have them in group. I have foods that let me start with um foods with a high phosphorus level. So I am just going to be like mainly reading it out. Okay, so food with phosphorus levels that I should avoid. The first group uh, fish, poultry, meat, or eggs. So, remember, there are some of the foods that I'm, I'm going to mention that I myself don't even know nothing about. I'm going to mention them anyway because somebody else might know about them. So we have caviar, fish roe, oyster, clams, mussels, scallops, and then we have bones. Example of bones are like bones in canned sardines and salmons. You know they usually come with the bones inside of it. And then we also have liver. Brain, kidney, and pancreas. I know people eat liver and brain because I have seen somebody prepared and eat cow brain already, but I have never tasted it. And I mean, liver is a delicacy in Dominica, but it is not good for me as they say here. Also, all dried beans. And then peas and lentils, including fresh peas and canned peas. So that's in the first group. 
the second group of food that are in for stress. We have like additional items. Okay, secondly, we have additional items that are high in phosphorus. We have postum, ovaltine, melting milk, needle, olix. I don't know what is olix, so please don't ask me. You can research it and see what it is. And then we have chocolate, chocolate milk. We have cola products that like cheesy drinks, Coke and Sprite and so on. Then we have beer. I am not a lover of beer, so that's not a problem. And then nuts, referring to like peanuts, cashews, and those sort of things. And then peanut butter and the seeds like sunflower seeds and the other seeds like that. Next page. So we're moving on with the food that are high in phosphorus. We have breads and cereals. So some of the breads that I should stay away from. And mostly whole grain breads. For example, bran, cornbread, dark rye, multigrain, pumpernickel. That, I don't know what it is. So if you know what it is, you can comment below and tell me what it is. So that's pumpernickel. Then we have scone. I also don't know what that is. Also tortilla. And whole wheat. So these are the breads that I should stay away from. Next we have the cereals. So also, whole grain cereals. We have... Alpha bites, bran, buckwheat, bulgur, it spells B U L G E R. I honestly don't know what that is. And then we have Cheerios, grape nuts, oatmeal, puffed wheat, raisin bran, shredded wheat, special K and Weetabix. So these are the cereal that I am not supposed to eat at all. Most of them are wheat products as you can see. Next we have crackers. So and the crackers is um, rye and whole, whole wheat. Rye and whole wheat crackers. For example, Triscuit. I have never seen or heard of Triscuit in my life, so maybe somebody in America or in UK or somewhere might know what that is. And we also have some additional items that are high in potassium. We have brown rice, barley, buckwheat, cake donuts, and wild rice. And then we have pies or pastry made with nuts, chocolate cream, or custard cookies. So even some cakes I'm supposed to stay away from. And then we also have food made with baking soda. For example, we have tea biscuits, commercial cake, I guess that is a box cake. We have cookie mixes, like, you know, the cookies in a package that mix them up and put them in the oven. And muffins as well. Pancakes and waffles. And then I'm also supposed to sell some dairy products. And processed cheese. For example, like, you know, the single slices of cheese in the packs. That, and then we have velvet cheese. Cheese spread. And the famous mac and cheese in the box. Yes, I was able to stay away from all of those foods. 
Okay, the second part is the foods that are high in potassium. Now again, I have like a whole long list of it. So I'm just going to go through it. So please forgive me if I'm not looking directly at the camera. I have to try to adjust my eyes to read because I'm not supposed to be wearing glasses. I am supposed to be wearing glasses and I don't have it on right now. I will explain that in a previous video anyways. So now the food that are high in potassium. So our first group is fruits. We have apricots, avocado, bananas, we also have fig, I guess that's the green banana. I don't know why they put it on another group of fruits. But anyways. Nectarines. I don't actually don't know what that is. I guess nectar is like the mm. juice from fruits. So I guess nectarines are something to do with the juice from some of the fruits that I'm mentioning. Then we have papaya, prunes. Rhubarb. It spells R-H-U-B-A-R-B. -B. I don't know what that is. We have melon balls, peaches, cantaloupe, tangios, oranges, currants, raisins. We have watermelon and in brackets, a large slice. So that means I'm allowed to eat a small slice. And then we have honeydew. So that's it for the fruits that are the highest in potassium. And let me add to that carambola. Because from my research and studies, carambola is totally not good for dialysis patients. So moving on, we have vegetables. We have raw artichokes. Raw bamboo shoots. Somebody have to help me there because I don't know if people that eat bamboo shoots. I have never eaten that in my life. So if you know about raw bamboo shoots, or if you have eaten that before, if somebody out there in China, or some of these places that are really familiar with bamboo, please explain to me what is raw bamboo shoots, and how you go about eating it. Okay? So, we also have mustard, dandelion, I know what is dandelion, but I have never eaten that before, I did not even know if people used to eat that. And then again, we have beans is also. So beans is high in phosphorus and it is still high in potassium. Dried beans, kidney beans or pinto beans are the beans that are high in potassium. We also have tomatoes. Lentils. Pumpkin. Spinach. Seaweed. Sweet potatoes, I did not know that was high in potassium. Chad, spelling C-H-A-R-D, that is my brother-in-law name, but I did not know that was a vegetable. And, we also have, I think it is kale, it is spelled K-A-L-E, I understand that that is very good to bring up a calcium level. But it is too high in potassium, so I am not allowed to use it. And then we have chickpeas. I never like chickpeas in the first place, so I don't vex about that. And then potato. Um, by potato, they mean like all products made of potato, like potato chips, potato fries, boiled potato. Once it's potato, it is not good for me, they say. Um, in my next video, I'll show you how we can prepare potato for dialysis patients, but not large amounts, very little amounts. Okay. We also have parsnips and winter squash. And then we have a list of some of the other, other foods that are high in potassium as well. We have bran. Bran is high in phosphorus and potassium. Coffee. So we have bran, coffee, 
chocolate, brown sugar, strong tea. So as I say strong tea, then normally when I make like a tea bag, instead of like leaving the tea bag soaking out in the tea, I will just leave it in the tea for like a 30 seconds and then remove it. And milk, as I said before, it falls on the dairy products as well. And soya beans. Carb. No. That is carob. C-A-R-O-B. I don't know what that is. So if you know, please tell me in the comments below. Then we have coconut. And coconut water. I mentioned that in the first video. And then we have nuts, peanuts, cashews and stuff like that. Molasses and yogurt. Yogurt is also a product from under the dairy, so that is expected. And lastly, I'm just going to give you a few things that are high in sodium. Now, this I can go on freestyle without watching in the book. Now, the foods that are high in potassium are mainly salty chips. Salty crackers, the seasonings that you use to season food. So, some of them have less sodium than others. So, we are advised as patients to always read the label, the food content on the back of the seasoning bottle. Salt, on a whole, I hardly use salt. When I fry an egg, I don't put no salt in it. Uh, and I mostly use the white of the egg. When I'm cooking as well, I will use a cube and a little scissor. But I don't really cook with salt. If it's for the rest of the family, then I will put a pinch of salt in it. But for myself alone, I cook without no salt. And then I use a fresh, a lot of fresh um, green seasoning. Freshly picked green seasoning. So that gives the food a lot of taste, so I don't have to use salt. So like, as I mentioned, chips, salty crackers, um, pretzels, these are some of the foods that are very high in sodium. So, there is my extended list of the foods that I'm not supposed to have. And it's mainly foods that are high in phosphorus, potassium, and sodium. The previous video I mentioned what was phosphorus, potassium, and sodium, and explained what it was. So if you have not watched that video yet, then I will leave a link of that video in the description below, so you can always go back and check it out and see the definitions of the words. So, if you have any more questions about the foods that I'm not supposed to have, foods that I'm supposed to avoid, then you can always ask me in the comments below. And also leave your feedback if you know more foods that I'm not supposed to have. Or if some of the foods that I mentioned, you have heard about it. And it is unknown to Dominicans. You can also say that in the comments below. And once more, thank you everybody for all your love and support. I did not do a video last week because my phone kind of gave me some issues with a space problem. No matter how much files I delete. It still says that my phone doesn't have enough space. I'm kind of surprised that it allowed me to record for a couple of minutes today. So I'm doing that for you all, my subscribers. Remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button below to the right side of your screen, below the video. And also click the bell so you can get a notification whenever I post a video. Once more, thank you everybody, and don't forget to look out for my next week video where I speak only about foods that I'm supposed to have. I also got another request from one of my subscribers and fellow YouTuber that I should do a video speaking about, like, showing how I prepare, like, three meals for a day, like that would be my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, my next video would be about the foods that I'm supposed to have, kidney friendly foods and the one after that would be about my free meals of a day just a basic free meal that I eat mostly every day so it's a little progress and I'm moving forward nicely with it thank you everybody for all your love and support, you don't know 
God's guidance and blessings to everybody and the family out and large all over the world. Keep on sharing my videos and as long as my videos make sense to you and you learn something from it, you have something additional you want to say, feel free to do so. I'm also, I'm always open to all your advices, all your comments, all your anything you want to tell me, you want to talk, check me, you don't know how it is already. Anyways, bless up everybody. Stay prayed up. Spread a little love every day, okay? Because um, part of living life is to share love with one another. And God always sees you, always here. And God gives, God gives you great credit when you show love to a fellow human, a fellow brother, a fellow sister, a fellow friend, okay? So, keep on living. Make sure you pray every day. Give God thanks for everything. Share a little love out there. And you don't know. I'm sorry for what I always say. Best up yourself one time.